What's happening guys, it's Abana from PhoneBunch and in this video we are going to tell you how to install OxygenOS 3.2.0 on the OnePlus 3. Now OnePlus had started rolling out the update to OxygenOS 3.2.0 for the OnePlus 3. Now the update has been halted but we do have official links for the update files. Now it's very easy to install. You need to enable the developer options then allow USB debugging. Developer options can be enabled by just tapping on the build number several times. Then you need to boot into recovery. You can enable advanced reboot from developer options as well. Now don't worry about this prompt. It says factory data reset. It's not doing that. It's just going to boot into recovery. Then select install from ADB. Select yes. You want to actually update the phone. Plug in the USB type C cable into the phone. Tap on OK. After that, you have to download two things. You have to download the ADB platform tools and then you also have to download the correct Oxygen OS update file. Now, this is the official update file. It hasn't been tinkered with and you need to download that and save it on your PC. Now, DDL post with all the links and steps is available on phonemerge.com. I'll link that in description. Next up, you have to extract platform tools and move the Oxygen OS update file to that folder. Now we need to open the command prompt here so you need to keep the shift key press then press the right mouse click or you can also jump into the file menu and click on open the command prompt as administrator. Once done you need to type adb space devices and if your phone is detected you'll get this prompt with the side load option. If this is not available you have to do some other steps which are mentioned in the tutorial. Now if it is detected you have to type in adb space side load space 1 and then press the tab key the entire file name would be displayed and then hit the enter key. And right now you are seeing the progress on both the phone as well as on your PC. Do not and I say again do not disconnect the phone from your PC while this step is going on. The phone will be updated it is going to ask you whether you should reboot instead of rebooting just press yes and then wipe cache then reboot your smartphone now it is going to take some time to reboot the first boot is always very slow so be patient and then you see right here we are now on oxygen os 3.2.0 and we have the srgb mode available in developer options so you can tweak the color profile of the display and you can see right here we have 4 gigs of free RAM and actually not many apps are running in the background. So we will be checking out how this phone is performing, its battery life, memory management, if that has actually improved in our next video. I just want to spend some time with the phone first. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped you. Do the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.